Well, they want the big, the big churches and the big fire, and then they get too fancy for Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I can remember a story Brother Billy told. I believe it was Brother Billy told it. I may be wrong. I think he told it anyway one time. About this lady who was driving down the road. And this man cut her off. And sped on by. And this cop pulled her over. And she was asking the cop, how come you pulled me over and still that man that, that, that cut me off that was speeding on down the highway? He said, well, I've seen your bumper stickers that said, I love Jesus. And I've seen your bumper stickers that I walk with Jesus. And what would Jesus do? And I've seen the reaction that you had when that man went by. The hand gestures that you made. And I thought maybe you stole this car. Yeah. Come on. Honey, sometimes our actions speak louder than our bumper stickers. Yeah, yeah amen. amen. A lot of times, that, you know, uh, uh, people, people have, have got, I love Jesus on their car, but they do everything in the world. Come on. We wear the t-shirts, Brother Jerry. We wear the caps. Come on. I walk with Jesus. Amen. But the first time we're in Walmart and the line's a little bit long, they find out how close you walk with Jesus. Come on. Amen. They find out how, how, how upset you get when somebody gets your parking space and then they look at your little cap. I don't know if he's walking with Jesus or not. Amen. Honey, if you're going to walk with Jesus, see, to be a Christian, we've got to be Christ-like. Amen. Amen. If we're going to walk with him, if we're going to claim that name, Brother Jerry, honey, we better grow up a little bit. Start yeah. acting like, acting like that we're, we are one of his. Amen. Yeah. We've got to start being a doer of his word, not just a hearer of Amen. Yeah. So many times we, we, we come, we sit in church, and we hear his word, but we're deceived. The Bible says, don't be a a hearer only, but be a doer also. He's even well, your own self. Amen? Yeah, yeah. We, we come in and, and we, 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 we sit and we hear the Word. We get the Word inside of us. Brother Jerry, we know what the Word... Honey, I've been in this thing for a while. I know what the Word says. Amen? And most well, of us in here know what the Word says. But how many of us is walking it? Amen? How many when we get when we get in line at Walmart or, or one little thing happen to us, do we act that way? Come on. Yes. Amen? And are we acting that way or is our action speaking louder than our bumper do? Amen. Are we saying that we know Jesus, but our actions ain't talking that way, brother? Brother Bill, we need to we need to line up. Honey, it's time that we start lining up for bumper stickers. Amen. It's time that we start being what we said we are going to be. Amen. We're going to set some walking this thing, brother Jerry. Amen. There's people that's watching our lives. Amen. Our greatest testimony is your life that you're living before Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Amen. If we're going to sow a seed, we need to sow Jesus. Yes. Amen. The Bible says in Galatians it's six. I believe it's the sixth chapter. I've got it wrote down. Galatians 6. Galatians 6, 7 says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also weep. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of his flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Amen. It's all depends what kind of seed we're sowing. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we're reaping stuff, but honey, we wonder why come, how come this is happening in my life? How come this is happening in my life? Check what kind of seeds you sow. Come on. Amen. Yes. Amen. If we don't like what we're reaping, we need to change what we're sowing. Amen. Yes. We need to start Come sowing on. the good things of God. Amen. Yes. We, we, if we don't like what we're reaping, it's time that we change seeds. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because there ain't nothing wrong with it. Yes. We're, we're, we're sowing the wrong things, church. Amen. Yes. If, we, if, you want, if you want tomatoes, you don't go out and plant corn. Come on. Amen. Amen. If you go out there and plant corn and you wait a few months, you say, well, I'm going to go out there and get my tomato. Yeah. When you get out there, you're going to be surprised. Yeah. And that's what's happened to us now. We're wondering. We're surprised, Brother Billy, that things are coming upon our life. Amen. We're, we're surprised why we ain't getting no tomatoes and we're getting corn because we're planting corn. Amen. Come on. Because whatever, whatsoever a man sow, yeah. that's how he read. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Whatever we sow, Brother Jerry, that's what we're going to reap in life. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Honey, I learned a long time ago. And when you come into church, if you come into church and want a blessing, come to be one. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's the way you get a blessing. Amen. Yeah. If you want a blessing, come to be one. Yeah. Amen. If you come in and you sow a blessing, you'll get a blessing. I promise you. Amen. Amen. If you're coming in to lift up him. Oh, Amen. Come Amen. On. See, that's what it's oh, all about. Oh, we're coming in looking at everything else. But if we come in for the right purpose, Brother Jerry, yeah. if we come in for a mind made up, come in and lift up the, the name of Jesus. Amen. When, yes. when the day of Pentecost came, when the Holy Ghost fell, Brother Billy, they come into that room for one purpose. Amen. Yeah. 
They was all in one mind and one accord. Huh? Yeah. And they wasn't about talking about fishing. And they wasn't talking about the ball games. And they wasn't talking about lifting each other up. They had one mind and one accord. That was lifting up the name of Jesus. Yeah. I think we'll come in and lift him up. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and the Holy Ghost will follow. Yes, amen. Because so we'll reap what we're sowing, brother. Yeah. Amen. Oh. Well, we got to be sowing to it. Amen. Yes. we got to be. See, there's too much false advertisement going around. We're claiming that we got it. But we ain't showing no evidence of it. We got the buffer sticker. Yeah. Amen. I've got the hat. I walk with Jesus. Come on. A lot of false appetites going around. Amen. Yeah. We better have the goods. Amen. I can remember in, in the Bible I'll talk about it in, in Matthew, I believe it's in the 20. I got it wrote down. Matthew 21, 18, and 19. We want to go over anyway. But it, it, it talks about Jesus was hungry. Brother Jerry, and he, and, he, and he seen this fig tree. Amen. Yeah. And he's going to the fig tree to get some figs off that tree. He's going to get that fruit off that tree. Yeah. yeah. He seen the leaves were flapping yeah. in the wind. That's right. That's right. But when he got there, there wasn't nothing on the tree. Come on. Honey, I'm telling you, the tree had the bumper sticker saying, I've got the goods, amen. I, they had the t-shirt that I'm walking with Jesus, but honey, when they got to it, no fruits. Yeah. I mean, that's where a lot of churches are. They got Jesus' name brought over to the church. Honey, but when you get inside them, there ain't no fruit. Amen. Oh, All the fruit will get you there. Honey, there ain't nobody that's preaching you the truth anymore. Honey, that's preaching you. You ain't going to fill your churches up. Your little churches. We want to stand full, Brother Jerry. But ain't nobody hungry for the truth. Come on. I mean, the only way you'll ever get these little churches full is somebody get hungry for the truth. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because as long as you're preaching the truth, you won't fill them up. But I guarantee you, as long as you're preaching the truth, the ones that you've got is getting what they need. They're getting, they getting the fruits, amen. There's fruit on the tree, amen. I'd rather have a little bitty flock with the, with the fruit on the tree than I have great big thousands of them, honey, not have no fruit when they come in. Amen. I mean, not preaching the truth, not trying to lead them to the right way. <laughs> honey, we've we got to line up this thing. we got to have the goods, brother Jerry. Amen. I, I got to think about the, the prodigal son. How the first son went off and he spent all his money and, and he ended up living with the whole brother Billy. And when he come back, he come back to the father's house, the father met him with open arms. Come on. Yes. Brother Jerry, the Bible says that, that, that the father went and, and he kissed him on the neck and told him to bring a good robe and, and the ring upon his finger. Honey, it don't say nowhere in there where the father condemned him by what he done. Didn't even bring up none of his past, what he done. That's amen. Right. Yeah. Because the father had the goods, amen. He was standing there waiting for him to come home, but there was another son. Amen. He was he never had left the father's house. Come on. Amen. He had the bumper sticker, Brother Bill. Yeah. I got the bumper sticker. I'm still at the father's house. Amen. I ain't never left you and never never deserted you, but he didn't have the goods. Because he got jealous, Brother Jerry. He wouldn't even come into the house, amen. When his yeah. brother come back, amen. He got jealous. Because of what the father had done for the son. Yeah. Amen. He had the bumper sticker. I never left the father's house. Amen. But he didn't have the goods. <clears throat> Honey, we got to have the goods. Come on. Amen. Jesus is getting ready to come back. And he's coming back at the church that made himself ready. Amen. Amen. He ain't coming. Honey, just because you got out of Jesus on your bumper, it won't get you there. Come on. That's the truth, brother. Amen. Because you wear the hat, because you wear the cap, because you dress. And I think you should dress right. Don't get me wrong. Because you wear the long dresses and you got the bun up on your head, that won't get you there. No, it won't. Amen. You gotta have the goods. You gotta have what was shed at Calvary. Come on. Honey, if you ain't got that blood that was shed at Calvary, you ain't going. Is that it? There ain't but one way. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Yeah. He's the only way, Brother Jerry. Amen. You can act, you can look good, and you can slap my particulars all over your car. But he will not get you to heaven. The only thing that will get you there is that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And start living this thing. Start walking it a little bit. Hey, man, try to get a little bit like his brother come up here while ago. One prayer said we he just want to close the wall. Honey, that should be all of us in prayer. Yes. Amen. We all need a closer walk with Jesus. Amen. I need a closer walk with Jesus. We all need a closer walk with Jesus. We got the bumper stickers. But where's the walk? Come on. Amen. We, we, we got the t-shirts and we got all yeah. these things that say, I love Jesus. What would Jesus do? Yeah. Got them little braces. What would Jesus do? I guarantee you wouldn't do half the stuff you're doing with that bracelet on. Oh! Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. 
Amen. Walk with, I walk with Jesus. You got your cap off beating somebody with it. Amen. Honey, we, we got to line up this thing. These bumper stickers ain't going to get you there. It's your actions speaking louder than your bumper stickers. Come on. Yeah. It's our life that we're living. See, when people see where you act out there, they forget about what's on your car. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Or they may say, look at that preacher. Yeah. Got it on his car. He's a preacher. And he's got, he's got I love Jesus. Don't look at the way he's acting. I wouldn't go down to that church for nothing. Come on. Hey, and you can't blame them. No. You can't blame them. You're right. Amen. Right. I we need to line up. It's time that we become a doer of yeah. God's Word. Amen. I yeah. Not just a hearer. It's time that the church line up with Jesus' Word. Amen. I because He's coming back for a church that's made Himself ready, and we ain't ready. Come on. If we ain't trying our best to line up with this, amen, we're in trouble. We need to be walking it, amen. I know ain't none of us perfect, amen. And I know we all make mistakes, but we are be striving daily, trying to get closer to Him, amen. The Bible talks about a 30 fold and a 60 fold and a 100 fold. That's right. Amen. Christian. Yes. I don't know where, you know, everybody is, a 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold. But if you ain't, if you're a 30 fold, you ought to be striving to be a 60 fold. Amen. Come on. If you're a 60 fold, you ought to be striving for the 100. Come on. Amen. Because we ain't made it yet. The Bible said He is the endure to the end. Shall, same shall be saved. Yeah. We ain't made it yet, Brother Jerry. I mean, I still got some trials to go through. I still got some battles to go through. I still got to get closer to Jesus. And if, honey, if we ain't walking this thing, if all we got is a bumper sticker, amen, we're in trouble when the battle comes. Because, honey, when the, when, the, when the heartaches come, when the trials come, when the battles come, honey, that bumper sticker ain't going to get you through it. Come on. That bumper sticker will not get you through it. The only thing that's going to get you through it is see him. Amen. And what you put your trust in. Amen. Put your faith in Jesus. Amen. Let everything else slide away. Amen. It don't matter about this world and stuff. Amen. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yes. And everything else is going to be added to us, Brother Jerry. Amen. We don't have to worry about everything around us. We spend too much time worrying. I do. Amen. I spend too much time worrying about everything else. All i got to worry about is seeking him. Come on. Yes. 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 That's all we got to worry about. Amen. It's seeking Him. Yes. Amen. Uh, it says, seek Him first, the kingdom of God. Yes. If we seek Him first, He'll take care of us, everything else around us. Come on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Then we can start lining up with our bumper sticker. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because it don't matter. Like I said, you can have them all over your car. <laughs> and that ain't going to make a big difference. Come on. The bumper sticker won't get you out of here. The only thing going to get you out of here is the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. If you ain't got that applied to your life, you're in trouble. Yes. You're in trouble. If you ain't got Jesus applied to your life, you might as well have a Budweiser sticker on your car. Yeah. Because it ain't gonna help you a bit. Amen. Yes. Now it might help somebody get behind you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I just don't want to read Budweiser, I'm gonna read something about Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Because it is a witness. But your life is also a witness. Yeah. That's the greatest testimony you've got is your life. Yeah, the way you live it. You can say that you're blessed and you're this and you're this and you're this, but if you ain't walking it, it's going to be kind of hard to get me to believe that you're that. Yeah. Amen. Billy can, Brother Billy, I don't want to pick on him, but I am. Brother Billy can tell Sister Reese that he loves her, 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 he loves her. But if he ain't showing no love, yeah. if he ain't showing no compassion to her, she's going to start questioning his love. Yeah. And that's the same way Jesus is. Yes, yeah. Come on. Amen. If we ain't showing our love, we can we can we can say we love him. We can wear all the caps, we can wear the shirts, we can wear the bumper stickers, we can wear all that stuff. But if we ain't showing it, yeah. he knows. Yes, that's true. Amen. He knows everything about you. Amen. Amen. You may hide it from your pastor, you may even hide it from your wife or your husband or whatever, but you will not hide it from him. No. He knows Amen. everything about you. Amen. Yeah. He knows if you're living the life. He knows if you're trying your best to walk it. Amen. Like I said, I know ain't none of us perfect, Brother Jeffrey. Amen. We all mess up and make mistakes every day. Amen. But Jesus knows our heart. Amen. We need to be, our actions should be speaking just as like our bumper stickers. If we're claiming we know him, we ought to act like him. That little lady that was down at IJ and talked to Richie about the Lord, she never would have asked her if she hadn't seen her actions. Yeah. She knew that she had something. Amen. Well, Amen. When you get on a job or wherever you're at, you'll know the difference. When I fell in 1992 on a construction job, there was one man 
have that whole bunch of men that was up there, I don't know how many up there, probably 200 men up there. But there was one man, Brother Jerry, and a little old boy out of the Church of God in Central City that was a Christian. And every day at dinner he would get his Bible out and he would pray and he would study. And he'd done that for a long time, you know, when we was on the job. And, and I noticed it, and then I was running from the Lord, and I didn't want no part of it. I got away from it, <coughs> and got over and told all the bad jokes and all that stuff of everybody else. But that day that I failed, Brother Billy, when I come to, that I could hear all them people that was, was cussing and, and, and doing all kinds of stuff like construction workers do. Amen. But out of all them men up there, I could hear one voice. It seemed like it was louder than anybody else. And there's that little boy crying out to God. The Lord touched that man. And all of them, and the paramedics got there and, and, it, and it was muddy and it was down in that river and they wouldn't even come down there and get me. Put me in a cage. And that one old carpenter fell off the side of that bank and come down in there and put me in a cage and they lifted me up. See, he didn't just have the bumper sticker. Amen. He had the goods. Amen. Yeah, he didn't just have, he, he, he didn't just say, he wasn't just a, reading his Bible dinner and dinner. He started walking it. Amen. He started living it. Amen. Yeah. That little man got down in there and they put me up in that cage and they lifted me up out of there. Yeah. Amen. He had the goods, brother. He yeah, didn't just have a bumper sticker. Yeah. Church, that's what we got to have. When somebody's going to call upon you one of these days leading prayer or something, are you going to be just like a big tree or are you going to be flopping these bumper stickers? Or are you going to have the goods? When they come and ask, where's the prayer for? Church, we need to have the goods. We need to be walking this thing, living as close as we can for Jesus. Amen. Because it's all about Him. It's not about us anyway. It's all about Him. Yeah. But your actions just got to speak just as loud as your bumper sticker. Amen. Most of the time, our actions, are bad, our bad actions speak louder than the bumper sticker does. Yeah. Amen. People don't pay no attention to that bumper sticker <laughs> when you act like food. Amen. But if we live for Jesus, they'll pay attention. Yes. Give the Lord hand for his word. That's what he gives.